In this video, I'll walk you through how to create custom conversions for your Facebook ads campaign. Before we get started, I'll be assuming you've already created a Facebook pixel on the business manager because without the pixel, you can't create custom conversions. I made a video earlier on creating Facebook pixels and the link to that will be provided in the description box below. Now, if you've already created a pixel, let's head on to the URL business.facebook.com. And from here, you want to click on all tools. Under Advertise, select Events Manager, which should open up a new tab, bringing us to this page. I'll always remind to change the location from the Business Manager to that of the ad account before starting out making changes. So once this loads up, let's hover over this section, select Custom Conversions, and we just need to click on Create Custom Conversions, which will automatically prompt this pop-up. Now let's pick a name for this. Personally, I always go with Conversions. On the other hand, get specific with my naming, say leads for product ABC. Next, we have descriptions, which is optional. I never really found myself using this, so I'll just leave this blank. Next, you want to select a data source, which will be the pixel you must have created earlier. For the conversion event, let's leave this set to all URL traffic. Just a quick side note, at times when you finish creating a pixel and immediately hop on to creating custom conversions, you might see the conversion event outlined yellow. And the reason for this is because the pixel isn't ready just yet. In such instance, I would advise you to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes for this to turn green before creating the custom conversion. The truth is, if you happen to rush the process, then head on straight to configuring the web event, you might get stuck waiting for 72 hours other than it being configured immediately. So with that said, if this appears yellow or orange, just wait it out for a couple of minutes. Refresh this to see if this turns green, after which you can carry on creating the custom conversion. Next, we want to choose a standard event for optimization. So Facebook delivers your ads to people that are most likely going to take the specific action we've chosen. We should have this selected by default and you want to take a peek based on what you intend achieving with the custom conversion. For the most part, I always go with purchase and as it says, this signifies the completion of a purchase when a user receives a purchase confirmation. So you can take a look at the description for them all and go with that which best suits your business. Now once that is selected, let's move on to rules users have to meet for the purchase event to be counted as a conversion. We would want to leave this set to URL and if you want the case to be where a user lands on the URL that equals your domain forward slash thank you page to be counted as a lead or purchase, you just need to add that link in here. So I can just head back to my website backend, hover over pages, select all pages. And the thank you would be my confirmation or thank you page. So I just need to copy the link address, head back to the events manager and paste the URL into this field and click on create or we could change the rules to contain the keyword, thank you. So if we're tracking buyers that hit any page on our website containing the keyword, thank you, that translates to a conversion. My recommendation would be if you have a static URL, for example, when a user purchases one of your products and they are directed to website.com forward slash thank you, and there are no additions to the URL like a custom ID looking like this after the page URL then the equals option will work just fine. But in case where the thank you page generates random URL after the standard thank you page for each order that is placed on the website, then the option of URL contains will be the recommended choice since it recognizes the keyword thank you in there. Now, once that is settled, you can enter in a conversion value if you like to keep track of what each conversion is valued at for every sale or lead. Once all is set and done, just click on create. And now we can move on to configuring the web event. Also know that you can always repeat the same process in creating separate custom conversions for every lead, purchase, or campaign objective on your site. Now let's move on to activating the custom conversion. Select done, and let's head back to our website and reload the URL that contains the keyword, thank you. And once that loads up, head back to the events manager and let's reload this page. And we should see the status change from inactive to active. If you wanted to make changes to the custom conversion, you just need to click on it, select the manage button. And in here we have the option to rename, delete, change, or add a description. Once satisfied with all that's in here, we can now move on to configuring the web event. 
If you'd like to learn how to configure web events for your custom conversions, link to that will be provided in the description box below as well as on screen. You can show some support by giving this video a like if you found it helpful just so it's spread out to more persons looking out for the same solution. Thank you so much for watching and I would see you in the video to configure web events.